A bit of some impatient gallows humor to close what was a rough week of disappointing gold and silver spot price trading action. We'll of course look in more detail about what happened this past week, but we're also going to finish by focusing on the longer term perspectives of where the two monetary precious metal values are and likely headed later this decade as the fiat federal reserve and the u.s treasury further devalue the world's still dominant fiat currency the fiat u.s dollar ahead we'll also take its coming further devaluation out of the long-term equation and instead focus on long-term value ratios to get a sense of the coming outperformance these two precious monetary metals should provide as bubbles in some of the largest asset classes lose real value versus bullion to come hello there on behalf of sdbullion.com this is james anderson with a quick SD Bullion market update before we go further please smash the like button so other sound money stackers can also see this content and be sure to subscribe to our sd bullion channel so you can get our latest market coverages and also a chance at winning incredible bullion giveaways like this one raise your hand if you like free stuff we were going to give away a free tube of the brand new 2022 Silver Eagle coins. Then we said, nah, make it 25 tubes. SD Boolean is at it again with the Silver Eagle Monster Box sweepstakes. How many coins are in a monster box? Let's just say one lucky participant is going to be showing off their best celebratory dance moves with 500 shiny new silver bird friends. So head over to sdboolean.com backslash sweepstakes for your chance to win. Spot prices for silver and gold were brought under pressure midweek with the silver spot price closing just under $22.50 an ounce and the gold spot price finishing the week around $17.90 an ounce. The gold-silver ratio climbed back to close the week at 79. Many mainstream financial media articles pointed to this week's bounce in fiat US dollar strength versus the euro, yen, etc. in the DXY as reasons for the sell-off. But remember, on a longer-term perspective, when you hear the term dollar strength, they're only talking about fiat currency values versus one another. For instance, back in 2003, around this same 97 level in the often quoted DXY, the price of silver was around 5 an ounce and gold was below 400 an ounce. The longer term perspective being, all fiat currencies by design will continue losing real value versus bullion to come, and these short term price gyrations will be lost and forgotten. A look at gold's current spot price in relation to its 200-day moving average, and we see gold has fallen just below this moving average to close the week. A similar but more pronounced story in silver, which closed the week near a level of low support over the last year and a half, being 22 an ounce. Of course, it's going to be important to see how the two precious metals respond early next week, but judging by bullion sales volumes to close this week, Many of you out there are already taking advantage of these lower spot price points already. Turning now to the bigger picture at play. This past week, I was pleased to present at Rob Keats's Gold Silver Pros online conference. The theme of my presentation revolved around how to know when gold and silver have begun to reach fair value and likely eventual overvaluation later on this decade. I'll share with you all a few of the key charts related to the largest asset classes most you investors own bullion versus U.S. stocks and bullion versus U.S. real estate, as well explain some of the valuation gain potential to come for both silver and gold respectively using these charts. Of course, when suffering under a full fiat currency regime and a likely future fiat CBDC system to come, maintaining a prudent pile of bullion makes backtested mathematical sense. Jeff Christian's own CPM group has documented that statement with a varied 500 portfolio backtest illustrating that having about 20 to 25 percent of one's liquid net worth in gold bullion over the last five decades plus has been prudent valued against u.s stocks and u.s bonds over that time frame i'll leave a link in the show notes if you want to learn more about that data and since it's rather unlikely that this current full fiat currency regime is going to go back to being bullion backed without massive inflationary years from here to there Always maintaining some bullion in your net worth will likely always make sense. But we're going to start here with the U.S. stock market bubble that is currently threatening to roll over. But we're going to measure it taking the debasing fiat currency out of the context and use simply gold over a long-term time horizon. This is the S&P 500 divided by the gold price over the last more than 100 years. The overall trend is up, and that's based on the financial system incentivizing citizens to save for retirement using U.S. stocks. 
But nevertheless, you can see the last time we had a debt to GDP near this size and scale following World War II and also during the 1970s commodity bull market, how far this ratio can dip down to. My conservative suggestion is to merely target the 2011 low in this ratio, and that's around 0.75, meaning by owning gold bullion now, you could outperform the S&P 500 by over a factor of three times, perhaps by later this decade. Of course, this ratio could go much lower in a gold mania phase, but the simple point I'm making is that by nearly all measures, the U.S. stock market currently is in an unprecedented bubble, and one can simply divest from that bubble and into gold bullion for both safety and potential outperformance as this ratio begins its next major slide downward. We have a similar pattern setting up for silver bullion outperforming the S&P 500 in this decade playing out. In the 2000 early 2010s commodity bull market that drove this ratio down to around 30. So a mere repeat of that feat from here to there means silver would outperform the US stock market by a factor of about six times. So in other words, investors can divest from risk assets that can and often do fail and fall into bankruptcy and see potential value gains in real value, ones that have historical precedent, especially in a burgeoning commodity bull market like we have right now. Moving on to the biggest real estate bubble the US has ever achieved, currently dwarfing the 2007 version, even though still about two in five U.S. houses are owned by the aging baby boomer generation. The average price for U.S. houses now near a half million fiat fed notes and even the median or middle priced house in the USA is over 400,000. Well, when the average U.S. house price is measured by the value of gold or silver, you can see we're basically in a confusing dead gut bounce being currently masked by devaluing fiat currency units and record low interest rates. In terms of gold over the long run, the 2011 low of 150 looks like a conservative target for this decade later on. In silver, the potential outperformance is even starker if we get back beyond the 2011 low near 5,000 ounces. And yes, the average price of a U.S. home is again around 500,000, so you can do the math of what that pretends if silver repeats and possibly blows beyond its 2011 low in this ratio. The bottom line is this. Both these two major U.S. asset classes are currently at historical bubble levels. Now, could they go on much longer from here? Sure, they could extend for a few more years. But the valuation gravity and the longer term charts that I've just showed you, they make me confident knowing that both silver and gold are better long term value choices at the moment. A time will come again when that will not be true. But until then, I will be overweight long bullion waiting to sell some of it into an era when they reach fair values or much higher values in a mania, especially much higher values from where they are currently today. That's all for this week's SD Bullion Market Update. As always to you out there, take great care of yourselves and those you love. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to give our video a thumbs up. To keep getting bullion related news and industry insights, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Finally hit that alert button so you know when we publish fresh content. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know what you think and which topics you want to hear more about.